birthday class because they knew that this one can't speak English and now she got an answer like everybody even when people were talking at the corner or those who were doing their own things they stopped doing whatsoever they were doing because Sarah is about to answer in English it's about to go down hello guys welcome and welcome back to the channel it's a girl over here again so today guys I'm back with another video for you guys so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what you saw on the title my first time experience here in South Africa but in this video I'm going to be focusing more on the language part because guys some of us before getting used to the small English that we're speaking today we really struggle like personally i really struggle sometimes when i'm sitting by myself i start thinking and i'm like really did i really do that you know sometimes i'm gonna see me sitting by myself start laughing you don't know what i'm laughing about i'm just going back to my old me when i arrived in this country the english that i was speaking the things that happened I start laughing at myself because it was just so crazy so please watch this video until the end you are going to laugh because some things were just like crazy so before going further with the video if it's your first time watching my video and you like what you're seeing so far please don't forget to join the family by subscribing liking and commenting and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for your support so without wasting your time guys let's go right into the video my first time experience here in south africa as a congolese who lives here so first my name is sarah laka said if you don't know my name i'm sarah Mpira. so i am a congolese and i live here in south africa so it's been quite some time since i moved here in south africa so in congo guys i'm from a french speaking country in congo we have so many languages in congo i can't even start naming it because it's just that much but french is the most spoken language that you can communicate with like almost everybody so that's a bit of that so when they told me and my younger sister that we are going to relocate to south africa guys the amount of excitement that we were having i can't even explain it we were just over the moon like oh my god we are going to america in south africa you know so south africa in congo it's kind of like an america in africa type of a thing you know like it is what it is so when my parents told us that we are going to relocate to south africa we were just so excited we were like jumping and all those type of things and i'm like you okay i'm from a french speaking country and i'm moving to a country where the language is like totally different and they speak english they like i have to do something about it so in congo at school they teach us english but the english that they teach us it's not something like you are going to communicate with people in english and stuff like that there are some schools that like they teach you in english and kids like speak english but you know we don't speak english in congo so it's just for you to learn at school and pass. and even our teacher our english teacher back home he's also a congolese and the way he's pronouncing words and the way he's speaking his english is just like a french speaking person speaking english you know what i'm trying to say i started like attending my english classes back home because i wanted to be good when i arrived in south africa i was like you know what i have to know my english before even getting in south africa because i don't want no one will tell me anything that i don't know in english so i must be prepared so i started attending english classes at uh, back home but oh guys it was like hectic i was like here yeah. i started like learning here and there and all that but the thing with our congo english is what can i say is it an american type of english or something like that kind of like english when they're teaching you to like um mother they will say mother and father it's father water it's water you know those type of things so when i'm pronouncing my things i was like mother father water something like that so everything was good to me in congo Woo! in that class i was like the first because hey, every time i was calling my sisters who were here like they must give me some english words and all those things so everything was good so we moved here in south africa when i moved here in south africa my first day first day it was a bit late and 
I just couldn't wait. I just wanted to meet someone who would speak English with me, you know. I was just there in the house and everything was good. It's still new in the house and they were like everything perfect. The following day, so in the house where we were staying, guys, it was close to pick and pay. Pick and pay was just like two minutes away. When you're standing in my house, you can see pick and pay like good. So me being me, I'm like, I don't need help help for what i have to go do things by myself because english i know english i studied english back home i'm good going to pick and pay <laughs> they gave me money they explained to me the money i learned the money like i was just so in a rush to learn everything so quick because i wanted to start school i didn't want to like be there no i just wanted to know english for me to start school that's the most important thing that's why i wanted to know english so bad going to the shop the good thing about this uh, shops here like you will take your stuff by yourself no one you know you're not gonna talk just taking what you want to put there so that part was easy because i was not talking <laughs> going to the till Still not hectic because they're not really gonna talk to you that much because you already you already gave them what you want so they're just like scanning and scanning and scanning now i didn't even want the cashier to talk to me because hey now i'm scared i wanted to speak english but now the english is so close to me and now i'm scared of my what is going to happen <laughs> No, I was there and then the cashier was done with my stuff and first question the cashier is asking me do you want the plastic guys back home my teacher didn't tell me about the plastic what is it and no the teacher was, was teaching us about I am you are he is she is those type of things he didn't say no they will ask you this and you answer that no the cashier asked me, do you want a plastic? My answer was like, <laughs> The cashier, do you want a plastic? <laughs> so now in my mind, I'm like thinking, is it a yes? Is it a no? Like, because I don't even know what is a plastic? Like, what is it? And you know, cashiers, sometimes they are not patient. They are so impatient. Like, Hey Sissy, do you want a plastic? Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Cause she showed me the plastic. That's why I was like, oh, this is the plastic. So in my mind, like it's automatic. I, they have to put it in the plastic. Like, do you really have to ask me if I need a plastic? Look at the stuff that I bought. Like, I can't. I'm not gonna carry it like that. In my mind, I'm like, she's just gonna put it in the plastic and. Because I didn't think that the plastic, they also selling it, you know. Back home, they put stuff in the plastic like that. They don't sell it, you know. So I just thought like that. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I want the plastic. I want the plastic. But I can see the way the cash is looking at me. I'm like... She was so irritated. Like, she was just done with me. <laughs> I took my stuff and then went back home. Woo! that was my first test when it comes to english in south africa like the cashier was just so <sighs> the second thing is yo whenever i am walking on the road please don't talk to me don't shell on me don't do anything whenever someone is coming close to me to shell on me guys i'm happy that someone like they seeing me they're noticing me you know someone find me beautiful and all those type of things but when you come close to me now you want to shell on me now i don't know what to say because am i gonna hear this person like just do <sighs> Like every time when I'm going out, I was always having my earphones. Like even on my earphones, I was not, I was not playing music at all. It was just there so that people must think that I'm listening to the music. But there's nothing there. Like I just don't want people to talk to me because they will speak English. Now I don't know how to reply. I thought I was confident, like I'm gonna speak English, I'm gonna keep English. But you, 
been here and now when people are talking about it now it's fast because back home when the teacher was teaching us he's like going slowly like pronouncing words one by one by one and all the words that the teacher was like showing us they're teaching us they when people are using it here i'm not even hearing because now here they're going fast like they're going fast to me i wanted them to speak like my teacher like how are you i am fine because the teacher was saying that for us to understand and now here people are going fast like how are you are you okay how are you you know <laughs> i'm like no i didn't learn this please go slow a little bit you know that was just so crazy now i, I started school you know school at school that was like oh another crazy thing guys at school it was when my life went even crazy because now like it or not i have to sit in, uh, in class for me to listen i have to listen to the teacher i have to i have to be there and i have to have friends so my dad gave me a dictionary french and english dictionary so every day i was going through my dictionary and all those other ones just for me to study and know some words which is good and it's also it's really really helped me a lot so in class there was this teacher our history teacher so the history teacher was like going through the textbooks and everything was good and me being me in class i was just so quiet you know because i can't even reply i'm english is like on me so i took the test book i'm like every time i was trying my my level best because i i really really loved school back then guys not now because now i'm just too old for school back then i really really loved school so when the teacher's teaching i was just like quiet because i can't talk and all that because all of them they knew that i i don't really speak english so at at home i was trying my level best to study so i'll take one phrase and then i'll go through it and then translate it in french first for me to understand that's when i will know the story what is happening in the taste book oh so when the teacher would teach that um chapter i will go at home and then go through it put it first in french and then i'll understand that chapter so everything was good i i studied at home i was like whoo i know at least what is happening at school that day the teacher was like asking students what they learned in that chapter that she told us everybody in class no one was having an answer and me remember i studied and now i know the story and i start i started like knowing what the teacher was asking i knew the answer guys i knew the answer now the teachers asked asked the question and everybody was quiet inside the class i couldn't answer but because hey i knew the answer but in french not in english i can't explain it in english i was just there like sitting and waiting for someone to answer because me i can't answer what am i gonna say which english am i gonna use for me to answer no one was answering now the teacher started like being very angry because no one is answering and i was there i had the answer guys oh the teacher started like getting angry and no one was answering i was like today's my day like i have to do this oh guys look at me there i'm like yes ma'am i have an answer Woo! you must see the class because they knew that this one can't speak english and now she got an answer like everybody even when people were talking at the corner or those who were doing their own things they stopped doing whatsoever they were doing because sarah is about to answer in english guys <laughs> everybody's eyes were on me and then i stood up i'm like today it's about to go down <laughs> I stood up. Ooh, guys, if you ask me what I said that day, until today, I have no clue. I don't know what I said that day. And the teacher was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, go on. Mm -hmm. You have an idea, yes. The words, the way I was pronouncing the words there. So now in that, in my answer, there was a country russia so it, russia in french is russe now i have to say russia not 
Rus, because me, I translated Russia in French, Rus. Oh, that's not the only thing. I, mean. I started answering and I was saying Rus, not Russia. And I can see my teacher, he's listening to me, but she's like, Rus, you know. <laughs> you know, like it was just so crazy, and I was I was not stopping because I'm the only one who got the answer, and I was hundred percent sure that this is the answer because I studied at home. <laughs> my teacher was trying to understand my answer, like she can feel that I have an idea, but I'm struggling to explain it. Guys, I don't know what I said. But what I know is that deep down in me, I had a right answer and it was just hectic. And I can hear people, they were like, yeah, 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 Sarah, yeah. And people were clapping for me, not knowing what I said, just for me to have the courage to stand and say something. That is just so crazy. So guys, if I start going on and on and on when it comes to the language when I arrive in this country, I'm not going to stop because, yeah guys it was hectic it was just so bad like <laughs> the language part in this country just it taught me a lot like i didn't stop I, I continued even though i was really struggling i noticed that the more i was the good thing about this country is that even the people who were around me they were not laughing at me when i couldn't have pronounce or when i was struggling to pronounce my words even my friends who were close to me they really also helped me to speak english to explain myself whenever i make a mistake with a word they were like repeating it for me and then i will understand oh i said it wrong that's how you say it like it's they really really helped me and they were not like laughing at me like for me to feel bad and stop talking they were not laughing at me they really helped me until like i'm so thankful like but yeah deep down was <laughs> so yeah guys that's a bit of that when it comes to the language like my first time uh, in south africa with the language was just so crazy and i learned until today i'm still learning i'm improving each and every day so yeah guys that's a little bit of that for me when i arrived here in this country in the language area so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was entertaining enough and helpful for someone out there so please don't forget to subscribe like and comment if it's your first time and i will see you guys on my next video